Alright, so this video we're going to look at factoring the sum and difference of two cubes. Alright, so here's here's both of the formulas. And, you know, as far as memorizing them, that, you know, that's good to memorize them. But, they're both similar. And if you can just pick up on the pattern that's going on, then you've got both of them. You'll learn both of them if you can pick up on the pattern. So, let's just take this one down here. Okay, and this one will be similar to remember it. Alright, so here we have a cubed plus b cubed. So here's the sum of two cubes. So basically for, for this, it's just kind of like you're, you're knocking off the exponents and just a plus b. Okay, so that's easy enough and you can see it's the same up here. Just take away the exponents, you got a minus b. <clears throat> Now, let's see how we get the rest of it. So, to get the rest of it, you see this first term here? Just square it. Okay? Just square that term. And then the sign here, you change it. Okay? And then here, we multiply them to get the next term. And then this sign back here is always positive, you can see in both of them. And then the last term here, you square it. And that's it. That's, that's the best way to remember it. So, so let's look at this again. We square it, change the sign, multiply the two, always positive, and then square the last one. So square multiply square. This sign is opposite from this one and this one's always positive. And it's the same on this one too. We just drop the exponents, there's our a minus b, we square it, multiply them, there's the ab, and square this last one. And then this sign is opposite of this one and this one's always positive. Alright, so knowing that, let's let's go over here and I've got six examples to do, so <clears throat> here's the first two. So let's look at this. We've got the, let's see if we've got the sum or difference of two squares. So here I have uh, x cubed minus, now 8, is that a perfect cube? Yes, that can be written as 2 cubed, okay? So I've got the difference of two cubes, okay? So, just like our formula says, I'm dropping the exponents, so that's going to give me x minus 2. And then times, and then what do I do? I square this term, change the sign, multiply them, so x times 2 is 2x. This sign is always positive, and then I square the last term. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't square the first one, did I? <coughs> Alright, so that's going to give us x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. And there's your answer. Alright, so let's look at this one. Here I've got x cubed plus 27. So let's see if we can write this as the, as the sum of two cubes in this case because we have a plus. So that is x cubed plus 3 cubed. Okay, so we drop the exponent, so that just leaves us with x plus 3. Okay, and so here we go. I square the first one, change the sign, multiply them, so x times 3 is 3x. This is always plus, and then square the last term. Okay, so that's going to leave us with x plus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 9. And here's our answer. Alright, so let's look at some other ones. Alright, so these have a little more to them. <coughs> so let's see if we can write this as the difference of two cubes. So here, this is going to be what? 3x cubed because 3 cubed is 27 okay and then x cubed gives us the x cubed minus 
and then here we've got 2y cubed because 2 cubed is 8 and y cubed that gives me the y cubed so remember from our formula we're going to drop the exponents so that's going to be 3x minus 2y alright so now what do we have we square this term so that's going to give me 3x squared change the sign multiply the two so that's going to give me 3x times 2y okay, multiply them plus and then the last one squared 2y squared and so I get 3x minus 2y times 9x squared plus and this is going to give me 6xy plus 4y squared and here's our answer <coughs> okay let's let's look at number four so let's see what we have that's going to be what 2x all of that cubed plus and then 125 can be written as 5 cubed all right so we drop the exponents so that's going to be 2x plus 5 okay. and then we square this so that's going to be 2x squared plus I'm sorry minus we change the sign and then we multiply these so that's going to be 2x times 5 and then this is always plus and then the last term squared and so this gives me 2x plus 5 times and then 2x squared is 4x squared minus and then 2x times 5 is 10x plus and then 5 squared is 25 and there's your answer alright so the last two <coughs> alright so how about this one 64x cubed minus 1 so let's see if we can write this as the difference of two squares I mean I'm sorry the difference of two cubes and so 64x cubed that's going to be 4x all that cubed because 4 to the third is 64 minus well 1 we can write that as 1 cubed because 1 times 1 times 1 gives us 1 alright so drop the exponents so that's going to be 4x minus 1 times and then it's this one squared so that's 4x all of that squared change the sign and then multiply them well that's 4x times 1 and then this is always plus and then the last one squared so that's 1 squared and so that's going to be 4x minus 1 times 16x squared plus 4x plus 1 and there's your answer alright so let's look at this last one <coughs> excuse me so I've got 16 X cubed plus 54 well 16 is not a perfect cube 54 is not a perfect cube okay but if we look at this we notice 16 and 54 well we can factor a 2 out so this is equal to 2 times 8 X cubed plus 27 okay now look at this inside the inside the parentheses here this is a perfect cube and this is a perfect cube so we have the sum of two cubes well and we also have the two out here well that doesn't that's not going to bother us any basically we're going to be factoring this as the as the sum of two cubes and the 2 is just going to be tagging along with it. So here, 
Well, let's come out here. I've got 2 times. Now this I can write as 2x cubed plus 3 cubed. Okay, So we're working on factoring this now. And the 2 is just going to come along with it. So that's 2 times. So I drop my exponent. So that's 2x plus 3 times. And then we square this. 2x squared. Change the sign. Multiply them. Always a plus, And then square the last one. And so that's going to give us 2 times 2x plus 3 times 4x squared minus 6x plus 9. And this is your final answer. Alright, so, well, this video ran kind of long, but hopefully it helped. Uh, if you like the videos, you can watch my other ones and subscribe. Alright, thanks.